Yeah, so as we've opened up different workplaces, we have seen um, people having more contact in their workplace, and we've seen that in a number of different settings. Um, I'm not going to say the name of the, the restaurant be, because it's a small one, but it's, uh, it's not, the, the situation is similar to what we've seen in other places where uh, somebody doesn't recognize that they have symptoms, milder symptoms, and uh, they may not have the appropriate spacing or barriers in place in the work place um, and uh, there was transmission between uh, four or five of the staff in that facility. Um, I'm not aware that there was a customer um, who were exposed in that situation. I do know that uh, uh, our public health team of inspectors, um, public health inspectors, our environmental health officers went in and did a whole full review of the plan and the infection pr control precautions that need to be in place in every setting. And this is where it goes again to the foundations of how we safely open up. So I use that as a, as a representation of of some of the situations that we're seeing now. We saw it in the poultry plants. We've seen it in a number of other workplaces, um, the fruit processing plants. And if we catch it early, we can contain it very quickly. And this is just a wake-up call to remind people that we need to look at these situations. And we can become complacent with our workmates. Um, and we need to be careful about that as well, because we are um, bringing our contacts and our risk from our contacts with us into the workplace. And if we are, don't take the same precautions with our workmates, we can pass it on to them and they can pass it on to their families and then it can be passed on to situations where people are more vulnerable like our long-term care homes. What we do, I mean, contact tracing is our bread and butter in public health around communicable disease outbreaks. And so we were able to determine exactly who had contact with who and who had protected contact contact with others. So um, the assessment was done of risk of the customers to the people in the environment and uh, it was felt that there was not a risk. Um, so there was notification done of those who uh, uh, who were known um, to be at risk and these are the things that we do on an ongoing basis uh, around trying to determine who, who passed what to whom and who uh, needs to be in isolation through an incubation period. So that's the work that, uh, that the contact tracers do in public health.